Morris from MorrisFisherBlog.com. Uh, this is a series that I am doing on how to make better decisions no matter what your age. And if I'm looking off, uh, uh, off the camera, uh, I have a PowerPoint that uh, will keep me on track. So, but this is for you. Have you ever wondered the hows and whys of your decisions and how you make them? Uh, it's been my experience that most people just make decisions and then uh, think about it later. But there is a process and there is some components, parts that, uh, that uh, you need to take into care. So what are the component parts and what are, is the process that you go through? Uh, this is what this video is all about. So the first question you got to ask is, what do you control? And that's a huge question because a lot of us don't even think about that. So the first thing that you control is yourself. You come in one sack. Everything that you have is contained in what we call the body. So that's the first thing that you control. And that thing had better be the real you, or else you will be marginalized and controlled by others. The next thing that you control is your time. Uh, a lot of us trade time for dollars, but you have control of that time. It's yours to give away, to do with what you want, to use, expend, waste, or whatever you choose to do. And the last thing that you control is your space. You are born this, with this in your DNA. It's your space. It's not somebody else's. It's yours. And you can, again, give it away, let other people invade it, or you can control your space and become the real you. Now, everybody is a unique individual. You were born in a particular time and in a particular place, in a particular cut, uh, culture, a particular country, a particular city or town or wherever you were born. And that is what makes you unique. It is those experiences that you have picked up uh, during that time. And you're first born, and so it's your family that gives you experiences and you learn. From that then you go into a group usually that's kindergarten or grade one or whatever and you have to learn how to live in that group and that comes along with a lot more experience making you who you are and uh, this goes on to uh, professional university uh, your job, your whatever. And the last thing that makes you you is that everybody has a job. This is where you gain your experience and how to buy the toys and the things that you want in your life. So these are the three components that all humans want and deserve for themselves. And if you want them, and deserve them than everybody else that you know or that you come in contact with has these same desires. And so what are these? The first one is intimacy. Everybody wants to be intimate. Everybody wants to be able to say, this is me. This is the real me. The next thing that you want 
is worthiness. Worthiness to occupy that time and space that you control, that's yours and nobody else's. And the last thing that is the component part of the principles is that you want to be significant. You want to leave something more than just your tombstone. So these are the three components or principles that all decisions are made from. Um, it's like a guy sitting on top of a three-legged stool. These things, these three principles, these three things that are in your DNA have to undergird you or they have to be uh, under you to make a proper decision and you need to realize that. Uh, so this is the end of this video and I will be continuing this series and getting into what is intimacy, what is worthiness, what is uh, uh, significance, and how that plays into your uh, decision-making process. So hope you enjoyed this. This is Morris Fisher from MorrisFisherBlog.com. Uh, drop by my uh, blog and uh, take a look and see the other stuff that is free and just tips for you. So bye for now.